All right, let's now slip back to the story that we were tracking a while earlier, where the Indian Space Research Organization's PSLV, that is the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle C-45, is all set to be launched shortly. The rocket will, of course, put 29 different satellites, including the indigenously built defense satellite Emisat, into the orbit. Now, the PSLV is, of course, being launched from Sriharikota in Andhra Pradesh. The Emisat has been built by the Defense Research and Development Organization, or the DRDO, and will be put into the orbit with 28 foreign satellites. Emisat will be used to detect enemy radar sites. And also, in a first, India's PSLV rocket will put satellites into three different orbits. Now, the C-45 will be carrying satellites of the United States, Switzerland, Lithuania and Spain. Now, the final stage of the rocket will be used as an orbital platform to perform experiments. The launch is coming a week after India became only the fourth nation in the world to destroy a satellite in space. All right, so we expect the launch to take place. It's 9.22 a.m. now, so we expect the launch to take place in just about another five minutes. So this is the countdown that you see on your screens, four minutes, 50 seconds away for the C-45 to, to, in fact, take off. And to add more perspective on this, we are joined in by my colleague Siddharth MP, who is presently in Sri Harikota and is tracking all the developments very closely for us. Good morning to you, Siddharth. This, this of course, is going to be another proud moment for India, so we'll be sending 29 different satellites and 28 of these are satellites that belong to countries from across the world like the United States, Switzerland, etc. Yes, well, this is also an important development because of the fact that today an all-new version of the PSLV is being used. They're calling it the PSLV QL version. So usually the PSLVs that are launched from Sri Harikota come with either two or four, or uh, two or six strap-on boosters. But the version that's being used today has about four strap-on boosters, which makes it uh, an altogether a different record for ISRO because this is uh, moving away from convention. And it's on a case-to-case -case basis that they attach these strap-on boosters to the rocket, and that's based on the payload that the rocket will be carrying to orbit and besides that this is also significant because emisat comes at a time when india has faced several challenges with regards to defense in the last couple of months so emisat is a satellite can that can certainly bolster india's defense capabilities and also help the troops in planning many more operations and to get a better understanding of the enemy and their capabilities absolutely and also this launch will have many firsts as a part of it and one of the first is that the same rocket will be putting satellites in three different orbits. Yes, three different orbits. So primarily the first passenger or the main passenger of this rocket, the PSLV, would be the uh, DRDO built EMISAT, which is a satellite that can actually uh, receive uh, you know, signals and radio signals or what uh, belongs to the electromagnetic spectrum. So that's what this satellite uh, will primarily do. So that will be put in about uh, 700 plus kilometer orbit, after which the rocket will descend to about 500 kilometers and then it will uh, deliver the other 28 foreign satellites, mm -hmm. after which it will come down further by another 100 kilometers and then around somewhere 400 kilometers the uh, orbital platform, what is known as the final stage of the rocket, which usually goes away as space debris, will be used with solar panels. So this right. will survive for about six months plus, as per what ISRO is estimating. And for those six months, there are three different equipments or payloads on the orbital platform. So that will be conducting experiments in microgravity, but of course in a very small budget, and sending the results back to ISRO and the respective organizations which develop those payloads. So they'll be able to you know, get the results real time from those payloads and of course this is being done with, with not a satellite but using you know the final stage of All a right. rocket as an orbital platform so we're not spending money on building another satellite altogether but this is using the existing resource which otherwise would be space debris so that is being used to orbit the earth and then to uh, perform experiments in microgravity absolutely indeed so the countdown is on and we see on our screens that it is just about one minute 42 seconds more for the PSLV C-45 to blast off from Sri Harikota. And Siddharth, if I can come to you on this, one of the reasons as to why this is such an exciting new venture is the fact that um, ISRO over the years has established itself as a very efficient, a very accurate and perhaps a very cost-effective option for different nations around the world, governments and also private companies to put satellites in space. And that is why we see companies from the United States, Switzerland, Lithuania, Spain, etc., 
approaching ISRO, even though companies in the United States would have options in their own country of NASA and perhaps some of the other private players like that of Falcon X. Well, the fact remains that for foreign governments in certain cases like in Switzerland or uh, maybe in the case of private companies in the US, they obviously do have options in the West where they can, you know, put their satellites on foreign rockets and send them up. But mm -hmm. in the case of India, we A, offer them a very reliable workhorse, which is the PSLV. And as per ISRO's claims, PSLV has 0.98% success record, which is unmatched and something enviable in the field of rocketry. 0.98 is the kind of accuracy that PSLV Absolutely has. Absolutely indeed, so, do There's continue to stay on with us because we are in, in the, the final you know, moments work. of the launch. So we've got just about 20 odd more seconds before the PSLV C-45 blasts off from Sri Harikota. And we can see the scientists of ISRO there watching it very closely as we are now in the final 10 seconds. Four, three, two, two one, zero. Perfect normal lift off. All the four strap ons and the core blazing uh, the PSLV towards the sky. The gravity of Earth successfully negotiated by PSLV. Can you hear the roar? One month. One month. Only one month. But how do you think justice ought to be done? Because if they go to jail for two and a half years, almost, right? I think you should ask. It's a respectful view. It's a respectful view in the first place. I think both the girls ought not to be charged for murder. All right? And in our mitigation earlier on, we said that justice must be done. And we also said before his lordship, that the real assassins and in fact other former North Koreans are the trying court. And we emphasize that they must be brought to justice. Now as far as the one is concerned, we are happy because ultimately she can go home within a month. And uh, AG has uh, reconsidered our representation, prepared to offer an alternative charge, and we are happy with that. What do you say her involvement was then in this now, the, according to the charge preferred just now in the alternative, she's alleged to have caused injury to Kim Chol using a weapon, and that she admitted to that. Do you still stand by your defense that she was tricked and knew she was playing TV pranks? In our... And this is also announcement. The first one has separated. The first one has separated. The PS1 has separated. And the first stage of the vehicle That's has done its job. The second stage, which is a liquid engine based stage, has been ignited. The second stage of the PSLV is called PS2, normal. and it employs our Vikas engine with 42 tons of liquid propellants loading. It has a steady state thrust of 800 kilonewtons and burns for about 150 seconds. PS2 is 12.8 meters in length, and now in few seconds, you will have the atmosphere being crossed. We are already at an altitude of 114 kilometers. Heat shield separation will happen now. In this time, we have announced that our Ushma College, Ushma College, has been changed from the rocket because our rocket is from the Y-Mandal. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you very ये इसी वेलोसिटी को बढ़ा के लगभग लगभग चार किलोमीटर तक पहुंचा देगा। Now we are at an altitude of 155 kilometers. The flight time is 188 seconds. We have covered around 190 kilometers from Shehrikota. A view of range operation director making observations and announcements for the launch. इस समय आप हमारे आरोडी का अनाउंसमेंट सुनने के लिए तैयार हो जाइए आगे का जो इवेंट आने वाला है फ्लाइट टाइम अराउंड 235 सेकंड्स द नेक्स्ट इवेंट एक्सपेक्टेड इज द सेकंड स्टेज बर्न आउट एंड सेपरेशन अराउंड 260 सेकंड्स वी आर वेरी क्लोज टू दैट इन अनदर वन सेकंड यू विल हियर द सेकंड स्टेज सेपरेशन रॉकेट अपने गंतव्य की ओर बढ़ता जा रहा है और जो हमारे प्लाटबोर्ड्स पे हमको जो चार्ट दिखा रहे हैं 
जिनका प्रोडिक्शन किया गया था यानी और जिसपे चल रहा है दोनों एक के ऊपर में ओवर ओवरलैप करते हैं माने कि इसको हम लोग कापी बुक स्टाइल बोलते हैं और सारे पैरामीटर जितने प्रोडिक्ट किए गए थे और जो इस समय लोग ऑब्जर्व कर रहे हैं वो एकदम सेम आ रहे हैं अब ये चार मिनट और इक्कीस सेकेंड पे ये हमारा जो सेकेंड स्टेज है उसका बर्न आउट है इस समय हम लोग चार मिनट और करीब बारह सेकेंड पर है और ये धीमे धीमे बढ़ता तेजी के साथ बढ़ता जा रहा है वेरी क्लोज टू द बर्न आउट ऑफ सेकेंड स्टेज सेकेंड स्टेज सेपरेटेड नाउ अभी अनाउंसमेंट किया गया है कि तीसरा स्टेज प्रज्वलित हो गया है और दूसरा स्टेज सेपरेट हो गया है द सेकेंड स्टेज है सेपरेटेड द थर्ड स्टेज इग्निशन हैपन्ड एंड नाउ फ्रॉम इन ड्यूरिंग द सेकेंड स्टेज फाइव सेकेंड्स आफ्टर द हिस्ट्री सेपरेशन वी हैड स्विच ओवर टू द क्लोज लुक गाइडेंस of our mission in the in the closed loop guidance which was initiated at 5 seconds after heat separation the guidance commands are generated from ps2 and ps3 stages based on velocity to be gained guidance the velocity to be gained guidance computes the required velocity at each minutes. point and steers the vehicle to achieve the required velocity so that the vehicle is put into predefined orbital ellipse the e guidance algorithm generates steering commands in the fourth stage to inject the spacecraft into orbit With the required apogee, perigee, and inclination, PS4 thrust cutoff command will be issued based on the circular velocity conditions. After PS4 cutoff, the vehicle will be reoriented for safe separation of satellites. The restart phase guidance logic takes care of the burn start as well as end, as the orbit injection and accuracy requirements for the both remaining orbits. जो तीसरा चरण चार मिनट और बाईस सेकेंड पे प्रज्वलित किया गया था, वो गति को चार दशमलव जीरो तीन किलोमीटर पर सेकंड से बढ़ाकर पांच दशमलव सात सात पांच किलोमीटर पर सेकंड तक पहुंचाएगा इस प्रज्वलन के बाद में कुछ देर का रॉकेट कोस्टिंग फेज में रहेगा उसके बाद में चौथे चरण को प्रज्वलित किया जाएगा इस समय हम बहुत करीब पहुंच रहे हैं तीसरे चरण के स्टेज परफॉर्मेंस नॉर्मल अभी जैसा की अनाउंसमेंट किया गया है तीसरे चरण से निकलने वाला प्रणोद या त्रस्त एकदम जो प्रोडिक्शन था और जो उसका ट्रेजेक्ट्री है दोनों में एकदम समानता है बिल्कुल एक के ऊपर एक में चल रहे हैं मैंने एक के ऊपर हमको दिख रहे हैं सीट के ऊपर में थर्ड स्टेज एक्शन कंप्लीट थर्ड स्टेज एक्शन हैज बीन कंप्लीटेड एज यू हर्ड अनाउंसमेंट नाउ द व्हीकल हैज गॉन इनटू एन इंटेंशनल कोस्ट ऑफ वन हंड्रेड This international coast essentially means. All right. So this is, is what has happened. So it is yet another successful launch for the ISRO PSLV C45. We just heard that it is now gone into its third stage, and and is pretty much on its expected trajectory. So this is what happened. If we can get this, this is the rocket that will be placing 29 different satellites in space. And if I can get my colleague Siddharth. Who is presently back with us, Siddharth? This is yet another success for ISRO, where the rocket has now been sent to space, and it will be placing the 29 satellites. And it's yet another proud moment for India. Yes, absolutely, a proud moment for India, and ISRO has been doing this time and again. So because. All right, there seems to be a bit of an issue with the line with Siddharth. We'll try reconnect with him, but this, this of course, is the big story that we are tracking on Vyond. At this hour, where PSLV, the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle C-45, which is blasted off from its base in Sri Harikota at exactly 9:27 a.m. this morning, um, it is now well on its way in placing 29 satellites into three different orbits. This is, in many ways, a first. And, and a massive achievement for india because it is for the first time that a single rocket is being used to place different satellites in three different orbits at three different levels and something that that we can all take pride in over the fact that isro has been successful and also the success rate at which isro has been able to carry out and demonstrate its ability to put these satellites in space in this manner and we'll of course be tracking the developments but meanwhile in the studio I'm joined in by my colleague Sumit Chaturvedi good morning to you, Sumit Thank you.